All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another exciting WordPress tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you all how to integrate Facebook Messenger with your WordPress website. Now, in addition to this Messenger, you guys can add tons of really cool features like a social box, a store map, a testimonial box, a, a header box, all sorts of really cool stuff with this plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get this process started if you guys want to integrate Facebook Messenger onto your WordPress website. You know, it took me a while to find a plugin and this one was just really cool. I, I had to share and make a video on it. So right here under plugins, you're gonna to go to add new. Now right here, you're going to type in Facebook Messenger. And you're gonna download this one right here. It's called Facebook Messenger Live Chat. So I've already actually installed it and activated it. You guys can see it has really good reviews. It's a really cool plugin. Uh, I've used some of these and this one just definitely stood out. It was it's definitely one of the best ones. So once you guys actually download the plugin, you guys get this little box right here. So you got Facebook Live Chat and then click on configure your tools. Now I've actually kind of been messing around with it because I kind of want to see all of the options they have available and they have some really uh, just tons of all the, uh, really cool stuff. So they have like a header bar, an easy pop-up, a notification box, and this is all included in the free plan. They also have like a contact form, social buttons, etc. But I'll just start with the basics. So I'll just give you guys an idea of Facebook Live Chat. So right here we have Facebook Live Chat, and these are like the free. I'm sorry, the paid version. So if you guys want to get a little bit more customizable, uh, that's going to be in their pro version. But you guys can still do this with their free version. So right here I have the icon, a medium. And then right here, I have the icon right here. And then you can change like the tab background color if you'd like, the, the tab slider as well. You can also do a auto display welcome message box. So basically it's going to all, like like pop up to all your visitors. And then right here, you're gonna enter in your Facebook fan page. Now, if you guys don't have a fan page, you gotta make one, all right? So uh, right here is your fan page. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page just to give you guys like a, an, an exact URL. So it's something like this right here. So it's your fan page just like that. None of that ref or no, nothing else, just like that. So you're gonna take that, you're gonna copy that, and you're going to paste it right there on your Facebook fan page. Now, once you do that, you need to actually go to your Facebook and you need to actually whitelist this specific domain. So right here, I have wpdarrow.com. So when I go to my Facebook page right here, I'm gonna go to my settings, and I need to whitelist that domain. So it is, let's see where it is, it is under I believe it is under Messenger Platform. And then right here under Whitelisted Domain, you need to enter in your specific domain. So mine is wpdarrow.com. There, I click on Save. And then as a result, you should see this little box pop up. And then right here, you can kind of like mess around with it. So I'm like, hey man. And then it's gonna go directly to your Facebook Messenger Live. They also have like a pop-up feature, so you just have to like kind of tinker with the settings, and then there you go. So you can see, hey man, what's up? And then from there, they can you can have a conversation with them <laughs> right on Facebook. Now, they also have a lot of other cool features I kind of want to just point out, like the header bar. Header bar is really cool, and there are other plugins that do this, but this is already included. So right here, you can turn this on, and then you can kind of like decorate it right here, like, you know, promote special buttons, you can add like the you know the social sharing icons. Click on save. Oh, right here you'd probably put the um, you know the the URL you want them to go to. So, like for example, you want might want to put like your affiliate link up there. So if you want someone to go to like your you know you want to make a commission. Hey, check out that website. You're gonna put it in. So I'm just gonna put darylwilson.com. And then you can always do like open a new link, and that's pretty good because you kind of want them to stay on your website. You don't want them to kind of get carried off because you know how it is, you know, when people venture off and next thing you know, they're on like YouTube watching animal discovery channels, you know, so you really want to leave them on your website. And then also right here, you have the social buttons. So those are these icons right here. So you can, you know, have those and they're really nice looking. So you can, you know, add this to your website. Uh, it's really, really easy, really simple. They also have like testimonials. So the testimonials appear on the bottom left side. And you know, at this point guys, you just need to turn them on, save it, make sure you save it, refresh your website, and then they'll give you a preview of it right here. So right here on the bottom left, I have like your title here. And you know, it's just, you know, if you want to add testimonials, you know, if you want to add social icons. And then up here, we have that, um, that header bar. And then of course, if I click on it, it's gonna go to darylwilson.com. And then, you know, from there they can, you know, wherever you want to take them. So. I just want to kind of give you guys a rundown of how to add the Facebook Messenger through your website. It's really easy. It's a really quick process. And also the store map, you know, that's a really cool one. So right here, you can just integrate your 
your store if you're if you're like a you know a brick and mortar store you can just tell them where you're at and then right here you know it makes it easier because it's just like oh store map right away instead of having to go to your contact and you know all that stuff so uh definitely a really cool plugin to check out so um make sure to like this video guys i know it was a quick one let me know if you guys like this plugin or if you guys have another plugin that you guys have used but uh, me personally i think it's a really neat plugin and the free version can do just fine of course the paid version you guys can always get creative and you know do their pro features and you know i would take a look at it because it's if you're running on wordpress and you have an e-commerce site it's definitely worth a look at so all right hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys all later